Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. Before we start, it would be awesome if you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, many thanks in advance. Don't forget to like, share and comment on this video. Make sure you watch the whole video until the end so you gain the skills and knowledge you are looking for. Okay, so in today's tutorial, I'll show you how to remove a background using Adobe Photoshop 2021. Okay, let's go ahead and open up the web browser. And I'm going to download this image here from Unsplash. I'll put a link to that in the YouTube description. Let's click this free download button here and the image will start to download. And we'll go to this second picture here as well and download that as well. And I'll put a link to that in the YouTube description as well. Okay, let's just drag this window to the side. I'm going to open up this folder on my desktop and we just drag and drop these pictures into this folder so we can open them up in Photoshop. Okay, let's go ahead and minimize this web browser and we'll go ahead and open up Photoshop and we want to drag and drop this picture into Photoshop here. So we've got the picture in Photoshop. I'm going to hold down the Alt key. So hold down the Alt key on your keyboard and use the mouse wheel to zoom in a little bit. And then you can hold down the space bar and left click just to move the canvas down a little bit. We're going to left click here and hold down on the left mouse button and make sure we select the quick selection tool here. And at the top here, you've got a plus to add to the selection, you've got a minus to subtract from the selection, and you've got the size of the brush here as well. So if we click in here, I'm gonna set the hardness to around 40% and set the size to around 80. Um, and everything else I'm gonna leave pretty much as default, right? So I'm gonna click on the face at the top here, left click up here, and I'm just gonna keep left clicking to add to the selection. So you can see the marching ants are drawing around uh, the content that I'm selecting. And if we were to keep clicking down here, we can move more further down towards this picture. You can hold down Alt key and zoom in and click to the bottom of these feet. And make sure that you select all of the content, right? And if you over select something, uh, we can always remove that. So for example, if you were to click, let's say around here, and then you end up selecting outside, so you can see all of this part of the content now is selected, and we don't want that, we can use the minus selection here. So we click on here, and then we can left click and drag back in, to improve our selection, right? Like this, just like this. So now the selection looks pretty good. Okay, hold down the Alt key on your keyboard and then use your mouse wheel to zoom back out. Just make sure that you're happy with the selection. And all we need to do is copy the selection and paste it. So we can go to Edit Copy or Control C to Copy. And then we can go to Edit Paste or Control V to Paste. And it will paste it into a new layer here. So now you can hide the original image and you can see the cutout here. Okay, let's go ahead and create a new file. So let's go to File, New, and let's set this size to 1920 by 1080. You can choose any size you like, but I'm gonna set it to 1920 by 1080 and click the Create button. So we've got a blank canvas here. I'm gonna go back to this folder and drag and drop this background picture in here. And I'm gonna hold down the Alt key and then left click here to drag out. So make sure you've got the selection tool selected here as well. And you can just hold down the Alt key and just drag this out. And I want to move it up a little bit, so I'm going to hold down the shift key and use the arrows on my keyboard, the up and down key arrows. Just move the image up a little bit like this. Maybe we'll stretch this out a bit more. Let's see, something like this. I think it will be better. Let's see. Somewhere, in fact, we'll reduce that. Let's just make it smaller to somewhere like here. I think this should be pretty good. Something like this. You just want to see some of the floor down here in the picture. Okay, let's go back to the original image that we cut out. Let's click, click on this layer one here at the top. Press Control C to copy or go to edit, copy here. And then go back to the new image here with the background and press Control V to paste or go to edit, paste here. Let's click on this picture and resize it. So we'll grab it from the handle and we can just hold down the left mouse button to resize the image. And I want the image to be not too tall, something around, I think around here seems to be about right, something around this sort of size. And we'll double left click outside of the canvas to just deselect the image. Let's just hold down the Alt key and zoom in a little bit here. And we'll click on this picture, press Control C to copy, and then press Control V to paste. We'll go to Edit, Copy, Edit, Paste here. Let's click on that picture, this new copy. Let's go to Edit. Let's go to Transform and Flip Vertical. So it's upside down now. And we're going to grab this top handle, hold down the Shift key, and we're going to squash the image right down to something like this size here. Then we'll go back to Edit. We'll go to Transform and we'll go to uh, Skew here, Skew. 
Let's click that and then grab the handle at the bottom here. It's a little bit hard to see, but we're going to skew it across like this. Something around here should be good. And then we'll left click to confirm that skew. And then we'll go to, uh, let's see, let's go to uh, image, new adjustment layer and levels here. And then we'll select use previous layer to create clipping mask and click OK. And then we'll grab, grab this uh, white handle here and drag it all the way across to make it black like this. And then we'll just left click to confirm that. Let's click back on this picture so we select it. Let's go to filter, blur, and then we'll go to Gaussian blur here. Gaussian blur. And we're going to set it to around, I think around, let's see. I want to blur it out quite a lot. So maybe around... Uh, around 15 around 15 here on the radius and then click OK and then we want to take the picture of the woman this picture here and drag it right to the top layer so it sits right at the top and then we can take our blur and then push that underneath so we've got a drop shadow which makes the picture look a bit more realistic right something around here and if we hold down alt key and zoom out you kind of get the idea of that drop shadow there and the person is standing in the background here. The reason why I sized it this sort of height is then it kind of makes sense. The scale of the person is, you know, it makes sense with the bike, right? The scale. So you could increase it or decrease it. It's entirely your choice. But that's how you go about removing a background. We actually created a little composition here. So that's kind of nice, something different to do as well. So let's just go to File, um, Save As, and we'll save this work. We should always save our work. So let's go to here and we'll just type in main comp dash zero one and we might as well export this as well let's go to file export as here and we'll export it as a jpeg file and we set it to 100 percent for now and just click export and we save it in the same directory and then we can close this down and if we ever want to edit we've got the original photoshop file so let's click here and save it and we should do the same with this one but we don't need to save it as a jpeg just as an edit so we'll go to save as and we'll just name this cutout for now dash zero one and we'll save that into here and we'll click OK. Now we can close down Photoshop and then on my desktop we've got this folder now and we have this background right. So we have the original background here and then we've got the one with the cutout and the drop shadow here. So we can actually right click on that this picture here and go to set as desktop background uh, i've created it at 1920 by 1080 so it sits nicely on my desktop as well so if i want to use that as a background now i can use that as a background on my desktop as well so that's how you go about the easy way to cut out an image using adobe photoshop 2021 hopefully you like this tutorial and hopefully you'll find it useful there's different techniques to cutting out images in photoshop and the style that you use really depends on the type of image that you're trying to cut out this one was fairly simple so i picked something that's quite easy for you to work with uh, but i'll be doing more sort of complex cutouts in the near future so keep an eye on my channel don't forget to subscribe and please write a comment um, make any suggestions in the comment of any sort of tutorials you'd like to see in the future that would be nice as well and don't forget to share this video that would be awesome too Hopefully you found this tutorial useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.